What's the what's the biggest benefit to having so many of these guys along the offensive line coming back together again? Yeah, you know, first of all, it brings back uh, our our unit. You know, the guys that we hang out with all the time, spend all our time with, our best friends, and uh, a lot of experience and a lot of competition, which makes our uh, us better unit every single day. And uh, just a great group of guys at the end of the day. What are some of the things you like to do together as a, as a group? Hang out, um, have fires, grill out, anything. <laughs> and when it comes to, you know, blocking for a guy like Reese or a guy like Brock, who seems they show their appreciation to you guys every chance they get. I mean, what does that mean to you guys to have them recognize you? Yeah, you know, obviously they're great players, and um, we're just we're happy to be able to go out there and uh, do what we like to do for them, and uh, they make us look pretty good, so that's always good too. How has the, the off season here been different from last year? being able to get back into spring practices and summer workouts with coaches and teammates? Yeah, obviously just not having uh, all the COVID being sent home and all that stuff has been super nice being together, uh, being around the guys and uh, having Coach Andrews and um, our coaches and our strength staff and nutrition and medical staff and all those people. Um, just being able to help us hands on again is super nice. Have you guys spent much time in this new facility yet? Yeah, so I think we've probably been in there a little bit uh, in the locker room, at least a little over a month, and probably like two or three weeks up in that dining center, and uh, it's unbelievable. It's really, uh, really top of the top of the line, and uh, a great place for us to be able to uh, spend some time. I'm sure, it's exactly what you imagined when you were out here selling programs and all that. When you yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, uh, every Iowa State fan obviously knows the the loyalty that we have and all that stuff. So um, it's great to see uh, see that turn into some success. Being a, from Ames, do you maybe hear more often from your teammates, from people around town or wherever you go, about what you know fans' expectations are for the season, or do people are people pretty cool about just letting you do your business? Yeah, people are pretty cool. You know, at the end of the day, you know, expectations are what they are, and um, for for us as a team, you know, we have our own expectations that don't have to that are a lot different than uh, fans and all that stuff, and. Um, we're worried about being the best team we can, uh, being a together team, and um, uh, just living, living, playing for each other, and all that stuff. And that's uh, that's where our expectations lie. I don't know what, if you guys have some COVID protocols in place this season. I know a lot of the guys have been vaccinated. Is, are those things just taking those measures to be safe, kind of part of, a, of something of a rallying cry for the team to make you know everybody better? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is just we all care about each other and. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we're, we're looking out for one another and all that stuff. So, um, yeah.